In Trinidad, we have stray cats and stray dogs. Boys and girls are going astray, men and women too. Something that always upsets me is when I hear a story about a car that strays, jumps a median, and kills people heading in the opposite direction. It upsets me because it terrifies me. And it terrifies me because I think it could happen to me. Today, the big problem in Trinidad is stray bullets. It's gotten so bad that Trinidad is now a level in Mario Brothers. In December 2017, a two-year-old was shot by a stray bullet. That happened in Maruga. On the 11th of August 2018, a stray bullet killed a man from San Fernando. He was on the second floor when gunfire erupted in the bar downstairs. Four other people were shot. 35 shells were recovered. Four people? 35 shells? On September 16th in Barataria, a 56-year-old woman was sitting in the safety of her living room with her son and husband when they heard loud explosions. Moments later, she completed of a burning sensation in her back. On Monday the 24th of September, she died. And on Wednesday the 26th of September at 8.40 a.m. 8.40 a.m. Stray bullets from a gang-related shooting hit two men in a car, a 27-year-old student driver and a 50-year-old man. Like all of us, the 27-year-old man had big dreams, but a day later he died. This isn't Mario Brothers. There aren't any extra lives. The victims aren't coming back. Game over. And the scary thing is that a stray bullet could hit you or me anytime, anywhere. Redwall News. It better than blues.